Instagram versus reality. A few small improvements. The beauty mode on my friends' phones sometimes makes them look like total strangers. They post a selfie, and I think, "Who is this? Do I know you?" That can't be healthy. <laughs> well, I have to agree that people's pictures can look strange. Sometimes I think, "Are you kidding me? What are you, a robot? Your face looks plastic." But it's fun to edit pictures, and besides, I don't see how it's harmful. Think about it. Every day we're comparing ourselves with false beauty standards: perfect skin, super white teeth, narrow faces. It makes real people look ugly by comparison. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Language Lab. I'm Jack. 我们今天要看的第一个字是动词 edit. To edit. 就是编辑的意思，在文章里 ，to edit 是用来指编辑、修订图片。譬如说 ，Which app do you like to use if you need to edit your photos？ 如果要修照片，你喜欢用哪一个应用程式？我们也可以用 edit 来指文字编辑或是校对。例如 ，Melissa has written several stories and now she needs someone to help her edit them. Melissa 写了几篇故事，现在她需要一个人来帮她做文字编辑。To edit 也可以指影片的剪辑，比如说 ，Caleb used a new software program to edit his video clips. Caleb 用一个新软体剪辑那几个影片片段。OK， 接下来我们来看名词 ，comparison。comparison 在文章里的意思是对照、比较，比如说。In comparison with her twin sister, Helene is far more outgoing and talkative. 与她的双胞胎妹妹相比 ，Helene 比较外向，而且话比较多。或是 ，This restaurant's spaghetti is a lot better in comparison with that restaurant's spaghetti. 与那一家餐厅的意大利面相比，这一家的比较好吃。Comparison 也有相提并论的意思，比如说。There is no comparison between these two novels. One is a classic, and the other is trash. 这两本小说不能相提并论，一本是经典名作，另外一本是垃圾。Okay, let's get back to our teachers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Info Cloud. Rex, did you get my PM about today's lesson? Ah,、uh, uh, PM. Yes, I sent you a PM through FB. Andrea, I honestly don't know what you are talking about. PM and FB. These are acronyms that are used in social media. An acronym is the first letter of each word in a phrase or title. You say some acronyms by the letters, and some become their own word.、Oh, I see. But we don't really use these acronyms in spoken English, do we? Some social media acronyms have found their way into spoken English, but you're right. Most are used in comments, captions, and conversations between people on social media. So, what does PM stand for? A PM is a personal message. You can send personal messages through FB. Which is Facebook. They can also be called DMs or direct messages. That acronym is used on IG. IG is Instagram. Do you have an IG account? Whoa, that's a lot. No, I don't have an IG account. But don't you have FOMO? FOMO is fear of missing out. A lot happens on IG every day, and you miss out on it. I'm okay with that, but how are you supposed to learn all these acronyms? Honestly, there are hundreds of them. You don't have to learn them all. I often look them up online to find out what their meaning is. Now is social media, social media, is a very hot time in social media. Most people have experienced social media. Today, we are going to share with you some of the words that we often use on social media. And Acronym, 像是大家都很熟悉的 FB 就是 Facebook，IG 就是 Instagram， 
。不过 ，F B 跟 I G 是亚洲人比较习惯听到的缩写 acronym， 西方人还是比较常说 Facebook 和 Instagram。如果你跟西方人在 social media 上面交流，可能会看到 P M 这个缩写，意思是 private message 私讯。人们经常使用 social media， 很多时候是因为 FOMO F O M O， 也就是 fear of missing out， 害怕错失一些讯息的恐惧症。Instagram versus reality. We look ugly by comparison. I get what you're saying. You know, sometimes I feel that our real lives seem dull compared to the pictures that other people share. Now that is something to worry about. Psychologists say social media use lowers our sense of self-worth. This daily comparison with artificial standards is increasing our anxiety and making us unhappy. Well, if that's how you feel about it, why don't you just get off Instagram? Quit Instagram? Are you crazy? How would I keep up with everyone? 我们来看下一个字 ，dull. Dull 是一个形容词，意思是无聊乏味或是没意思。比方说 ，The banquet was so dull that we decided to leave early. 晚宴相当无趣，我们就决定提早离开。Dull 也可以指东西没有光泽或是色泽不光亮。譬如说 ，The old cabinets looked dull, but a fresh coat of paint should make everything look better. 旧柜子的颜色暗沉，可是刷上新漆可以让一切看起来好看一点。我们也可以用 dull 来形容刀片不是很利。譬如说 ，It's hard to chop vegetables with a dull knife. 拿不够利的刀来切菜是不容易的。最后我们要看的字是名词 ，anxiety。在文章里 ，anxiety 是指焦虑不安的感觉。比方说 ，It's normal to feel some anxiety before you give a speech。演讲前感到焦虑不安是很正常的。我们也可以用 anxiety 来指麻烦的事情，或是让人感到焦虑的事情。譬如说 ，There is a lot of stress and anxiety going on at the office。办公室里有不少压力跟麻烦的事情。Anxiety 也可以指焦虑症。譬如说 ，After Horace had that big accident, he began to suffer from depression and anxiety. Horace 出了严重车祸后，就开始有忧虑症跟焦虑症。All right, let's get back to our teachers. Honey, I'm home. Oh, so honey, how was your day? Great. You know the volunteer work I was doing at the hospital. Yes, and I'm so proud of you. Well, I quit. You what? You you quit? But it was too much work, and it took too much time. It was giving me anxiety. Well, okay, I guess. Oh, and that's not all. Oh,、uh, what else? I quit all those night classes at the university too. But those were important classes. I thought. <sighs> But they were stressful. I had so much anxiety. Now I feel better. But, but. Oh, oh, and there's one more thing. Oh,、uh, what's that? I quit my job. Your job? Yes. Getting up early, driving in traffic, pressure at the office—it、oh, was causing a lot of anxiety. So I quit, and now I have less anxiety. Uh, why do I suddenly have more anxiety? Are you one of the 3.6 billion people on Earth who use social media? One app, Instagram. Has over 500 million daily users and 1 billion users each month. This makes it one of the most popular social media platforms in the world. We average over two hours every day on social media. But does following friends, companies, and influencers make our lives better or worse? Does sharing pictures and getting likes have a positive or negative effect on us? 
Phoebe and Joanna are friends, but they don't feel the same way about social media. Hey, did you see the article Lydia posted on Facebook this morning? You mean the one about Instagram being bad for us? Yeah, it talks about the psychological effects of comparing ourselves with pictures of artificial beauty. It also says people's real lives aren't as wonderful as they seem on Instagram. I don't see what the big deal is. I love using Instagram. I use it too, but I'm becoming worried. Don't you think that what people share is kind of fake? Just because people use filters on their selfies doesn't mean they're fake. What's wrong with making a few small improvements? A few small improvements. The beauty mode on my friends' phones sometimes makes them look like total strangers. They post a selfie, and I think, "Who is this? Do I know you?" That can't be healthy. <laughs> well, I have to agree that people's pictures can look strange. Sometimes I think, "Are you kidding me? What are you, a robot? Your face looks plastic." But it's Fun to edit pictures, and besides, I don't see how it's harmful. Think about it. Every day we're comparing ourselves with false beauty standards: perfect skin, super white teeth, narrow faces. It makes real people look ugly by comparison. We look ugly by comparison. I get what you're saying. You know, sometimes I feel that our real lives seem dull compared to the pictures that other people share. Now that is something to worry about. Psychologists say social media use lowers our sense of self-worth. This daily comparison with artificial standards is increasing our anxiety and making us unhappy. Well, if that's how you feel about it, why don't you just get off Instagram? Quit Instagram? Are you crazy? How would I keep up with everyone?